Hey, it's Ryan at Prisma here, and at version 2.26, we have got a brand new feature which will help you to do cascading deletes. This is something that has been long requested, and we've got a new feature called referential actions, which will help you do just that. And you're also going to be able to do cascading updates. So to take a look at how this works, let's take a look at this simple set of models. We've got a post model and author model. Post is related to author, so a post has one author and an author has many posts. So before 2.26, and actually if you don't do anything even at version 2.26 to opt into it, what happens if you go to delete an author that already has posts in the database is you'll be blocked from doing so because that relationship needs to exist between the two. What you can do now though is specify that you want to cascade the deletes down from author to their posts. So for example, let's take a look at what this would look like if we didn't do anything. So I've got some data here. I've got myself as an author and I've got one post for myself in here in this SQLite database. And in server.ts, which I've got right here, we can write some code to try to delete that author. So we can say await Prisma author delete. We'll try to delete it where the ID is equal to that author ID that I've got. I will copy this over come back over here and paste it in. So we can try to run this. I'm gonna save and I'll do npm run dev. And what we're going to get here is this error. So we've got an error that we're trying to make this change, but it would violate the required relation author to post. So now what we can do though, at version 2.26 is we can come into our schema and we can opt into the referential actions preview feature. So preview features, you'll set them up here and you'll say you want referential actions. And then on the post model, on this relation to author, what you can do is come in and say on delete. You wanna specify what will happen on delete. And what you'll want to reach for most likely will be cascade. There are a number of different options you can opt for. You could opt for set null, for example, that is another option. What that will do is it will set the author ID as null. As it stands, you're not going to be able to do this because right now this is a required field, but if you were to make this optional, then set null would work. Let's take a look though at what this looks like if we use cascade. So we'll use cascade, we'll save the schema, and then we actually need to migrate or do db push to get this to work. So npx prisma db push. That's going to migrate the, uh, the database and also generate the client for us. And now if we are over here in server.ts, we've got the same structure here. We've got our delete happening by that ID. So we can do npm run dev. And what we get now is done. So we're done with that. And if we take a look now in our database, the author is gone and the post for that author is gone as well. So cascading deletes, a long requested, a long awaited feature in Prisma and it's here now at version 2.26. Please do feel free to let us know if it works for you or if you run into any issues down in the comments below or you can reach out to us on Twitter. It's twitter.com slash Prisma. Thanks for watching.